Hello everyone. So in today's video, I want to show how I work with values and why is it important. So here in this example, I show how I uh, start. So I start with a sketch. So I clean it up a bit, so I have clear lines. And then I start adding um, gray layers. Um, yeah, that I can shade. So like you're seeing here. And at the end, I add details. So then in a bit, I will show how I uh, actually do that space. But the great thing about working with values is if you, we put a uh, color layer on top of it, so, and then make this green because aliens are green, right? So then you can color them then, but the, the shadow is already fixed. So that, uh, that's a great way to, to color. So you can first focus on, the, on, on getting the, the shadows right. So here I'm showing the basics of uh, the shading of a, of a ball. So in this case, the light source is coming from here, on this ball like this. So then you have an highlight and the center light. So that means here's the highlight. And then, because of the light coming on the ball, this light is lit up. And this call, this we call center light. And then you have this place where it starts to get dark, and we call that the terminator. Also, the core shadow. The core shadow is uh, just like the center light, but then the opposite. So here, the, the basic shading. And then we have the uh, occlusion shadow that's here. So when you pinch your fingers, you see the dark line between, or when two things are uh, going against each other, then then you have shadow between, where no light can be. And then, and I didn't put it here, then you have reflective light here. And that means when we have light, it bounces off the ground and then bounces it here. So it's a bit softer than here, but you can still see it, and it gives really that 3D effect on the ball. And then we have cast shadow, and cast shadow is the, the shadow uh, from the ball on the ground. So let's see, let's show quickly how I uh, would uh, start painting. And this is a great way of working, because you can really focus on, on getting those and, uh, on getting those values first right to give it a 3D feeling. So what I'm doing now is taking the lasso tool, for example here, and making one shape that I'm going to color. So then I pick a color, so I pick with Alt, pipette, so and then give this color. And I'm working in Photoshop and yeah, you could also use Procreate in your iPad or different programs. The, the basics of shading yeah, works for all those. So what I'm here doing, so I made this feet. So, and if you put this layer on and you take a soft brush like here. So here you have this icon. So if you turn that on, you can color within the shape, like this. See? And that's really great to, to start, uh, start painting it, like this. So, and here, and a bit of here. And then maybe you make a new separate layer. Then you take a, a hard brush, for example. And then you can make those paddings on the on the feet. So I make a separate layer. Something like this. And here as well. And of course here. So sometimes I use the lesser tool and sometimes I use a hard brush. So both work really great for that. So then I control click on the layer I want to work on. So I'm gonna make the brush, brush soft again, like here. And the light is coming from the right top, so I'm giving it an extra bit of uh, light and lighting. 
and then maybe make this a bit of an hard edge so it's more like this the, the foot is is flat and the top is a bit rounder so i think this is a nice uh, nice feeling and we also here's this bounce light so it gives them and then there's maybe a bit of shadow uh, under those padding of the feet something like this and then we can here maybe add some shadow here and i'm using the the values of the the, the rabbit's head finding this maybe you can add a bit of highlights there to something like this the feet and then you can start adding details on a separate layer and i work on separate layers so i can tweak it more easily sometimes in a later stage i merge it all down make the toes a bit more clear make it a bit darker here maybe add some uh, some light so it's going around the shapes so it's really important to understand how you can uh, draw in in 3d that's for a different uh, feel and because it's an hairy animal you can add all these little lines as sort of texture for it. So that's basically what I wanted to show. And if you want to find out more uh, about uh, this, uh, this drawing, what you can do is uh, go to my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com uh, Mitch Leeuwen. And there I made a one and a half hour video lesson. And then each week I make a video lesson. And this week it was about drawing with values. And there I made this uh, one and a half hour video where I explain how to, uh, how to paint this. And then I, yeah, I go a bit more into depth in, uh, in, in how to paint in values. And then I also give homework, uh, homework, uh, homework lessons. And uh, here you can see the head. So, and here you can see me giving feedback on uh, people uh, who are patrons and uh, did the homework. So last week it was about drawing uh, expressions. So um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show a bit. And I hope you liked the video. Uh, leave me a comment if, uh, if you want to know something, if I can help out with anything. And I hope you like it and subscribe to my uh, YouTube page so I can make more videos. So that's it, everyone. Thanks. Bye.